Good evening, Mr. <clears throat> Hello, good evening. Sara, correct? Yes. Okay. How are you today? Oh, really busy. Was it a busy day today? Yes. I can uh, imagine. With, with work or with school? Uh, college or something like that? With work. Okay. ¿Cómo se diría um, a hacer inventario? Um, se puede decir como run inventory. Run inventory. Pero uh -huh. run de correr. Run, ajá. Uh -huh. Run inventory. Sí, es como el del trabajo. Soy encargada de ellas, entonces ya se imaginaron. Uh -huh. Le toca hacer inventario. Sí, por cierre de mes. Mm -hmm. Ok. ¿Y de qué se trata su trabajo? Disculpe. Es una clínica. Mm, ok. Entonces, eh, es una clínica de atención visual. En, y en mi caso, soy, soy asistente administrativo. Y parte de las tareas es eso, hacer inventario, cuadratura de cuentas por cobrar y un montón de cosas más. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ah, ok. Algo complejo. Sí, hay que, me imagino que tiene que llevar un orden bien minucioso de todo. Sí, desde el inicio de mes para que al final pues salga más fácil porque sí o sí tiene que ser el envío del corte hoy o mañana. Mm. Si no le, si tocaría, le tocaría hacerlo todo en un día, ¿verdad? De hecho, sí. O sea, realmente sí se hace todo en un día, pero uh -huh. el orden tiene que llevarse desde el principio para que al sacar todo lo que, lo que corresponde al mes, uh -huh. de una sola vez, hay un corte efectivo que cuadre. Ok. Y hoy batimos récord. Ah, bueno, qué bien. Sí, gracias a Dios. Qué bueno, son interesantes. Lo es. A veces es como un poco tedioso, pero cuando se es nuevo. Uh -huh. Porque sí, al principio era realmente triste. <risa> pero ya ahora es como que ya con la compra, porque no solamente lo hago yo, sino que hay un encargado de óptica, entonces ya con la compañera, ya es como que va, ok, desde ahorita vemos qué fecha nos coincide para hacer corte, le elegimos y ya estamos, tal fecha nos toca, tal fecha nos toca, tal fecha nos toca. Y ya con eso pues vamos a mediados de mes viendo cómo vamos y a finales pues nos sale más fácil todo. Buena estrategia. Sí, nos costó llegar a eso. Tuvimos que solicitar apoyo porque como yo estoy en área de cobro también, entonces uh -huh. yo veía más cosas y había otra y al final era un dolor de cabeza de la tos y ya dijimos, va, ok, tenemos este, este problema, ¿cómo hacemos? Y a la jefa nos dicen, va, pueden hacer eh, cortes a mediados o cada ¿qué, 10 días y ahí van viendo. Y uh -huh. hacerlo cada 10 días es bien complicado porque las dos tenemos otras cosas que llevar. Uh -huh. y, es, y nos quedamos así como que va y le propongo ya a ella. No, ¿sabe qué? Le digo. Simplemente de los rubros que más nos cuesta, vamos a llevar control y con eso nos pasamos. Y, y así. Y ahora sí, créanme que hacer un inventario menos de una hora fue... Ok, ok. 
<ríe> Qué bueno que lograron salir con todo. Sí, gracias. Hello, good evening, everyone. Welcome. How is everyone doing Good evening. Today? Good evening, Mari. Good evening. Good evening, Evelyn. It's a very warm uh, evening tonight. Very warm. Okay, we're going to start in just a few minutes. We're just going to give one more minute for everybody else to join us. Hi, good evening, teacher. Good evening, Luis. Good evening, good evening. Okay, um, we're going to go ahead and get started. Um, yesterday, uh, uh, we remember we discussed um, object pronouns and also um, we discussed the vocabulary activities uh, to do with uh, go, have, um, play and do. And uh, today we're going to be working with um, would like and also would like to. Okay. Um, before we get started, yesterday we didn't have enough time to complete a very short exercise um, from the from um, from the exercises in regards of um, object pronouns. So I would like to take just a few minutes to go over that exercise and then we get started with um, would like and would like to. Let me know if you're able to see the, the screen. Yes, we see it. Okay. Okay, so yesterday we did, as I said, we didn't have enough time to check this exercises. So we're just going to go through them uh, very quickly right now. And then we jump to um, the topic for today. Uh, remember yesterday we discussed uh, using object and subject pronouns. So here we have to look at the sentences and decide whether to use an object or a subject pronoun. Like in the first example there, it says, my brother is a college student. Uh, what, should, what should go next? He, him, or she will graduate next year. He. 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 Yes, that's, a, that's right. He. It should say he. He will graduate next year. Look at the second one. It says, Sandra and Thomas will be at the airport tonight. Uh, is it he, she, or they? will arrive at 7 p.m. They. 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 they, okay, in this case, also a subject pronoun. Uh, look at number three, it says, after you meet blank at the airport, please take them to the hotel. After you meet them, they, or him? Them. them. It's them, yes, it's them, because it says here, please take them so we have to continue using the same. The next one says, I have a problem with question four. Could you please help? Me. Me. Me, yes. Could you help me? We don't say, can you help I? No, we say, can you help me? Okay, uh, number five, my friends and I are going to a movie. Would you like to join us? Us, uh-huh, us. Should I give this book to blank or to Layla? Uh, she. Should I give this book to she? You? You. You, yes. Should I give this book to you or to Layla? Right. We cannot say, should I give this book to she or to they? No, to you. Okay, the next one says, I like blank because they are always telling funny stories. 
Them. 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 Uh -huh, them. I like them. Remember, we use an object pronoun after a verb. Here we have a verb. So what follows it is an object pronoun. The next one says, please don't ask that question. I don't know the answer. Don't ask me, me. that question. Me. Me, exactly. Mm -hmm. Please don't ask me that question. Uh -huh. Then uh, the next one says, should I put these cups? Where should I put these cups? Should I put blank on the table? Them. Mm -hmm. hey. Them, because it's cups. It's plural, cups. So we should say them. Not it, because it's not one cup, it's cups, okay? Plural. It's plural, exactly. The next one says the people in the restaurant are ordering food. Blank look hungry. Is it they eat or she? They. They. They, exactly, because it says the people. It's many people, many, many. I don't like that dog. Blank but, uh, bit me last week. It. 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 Uh -huh. It bit me last week. Correct. And then the last one. I tried to talk to blank this morning, but no one answered the phone. Her. Yeah. To her. Yes, exactly. To her. We don't say talk to they or talk to he. Talk to her, okay? All right. Any questions on this? I got a question, teacher. Yes. Uh, when do you use the people or when do you use like people? Okay. If you say the, the when you use the, it's because mm -hmm. you're referring to a specific group of people. If you say people, then you're referring to a, a general, general a general uh, group of people. For example, let's say that we are in a restaurant and at the entrance of the restaurant, there's a group of people. So you can say, the people want to come into the restaurant. Why the? Because we're sp talking specifically about the group of people that are at the entrance of the restaurant. Okay. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Thank you. Okay, yes. And then if you just simply say people in general, um, it refers to any uh, group of people, okay? Okay. Gotcha. Yes. Thank you. Great. Okay, no problem. No problem. Any other question? No? Okay. Now we're going to go ahead and, and start with... Um, uh, today's topic, which is would like and would like to. Um, once again, let me show you here the screen and let me know if you can see it. Yes, we'll see it. Excellent. Yes. So as I said, we're looking into the second part of unit three, which is would like and would like to. First, we can say that we use these two, would like to and would like to express something in a polite way. Okay, we want to be polite, then you can say would like to or would like. If uh, something that is not polite, then it's when you say want, want and want to. Those are not polite. Would like to and would like, that is uh, a polite form of, um, of expressing something, okay? And the contraction form is, uh, is this, I would like, or you can say, I'd like, okay? I'd like. That would be the contracted form. I'd, I'd like. And so to, um, to look at the structure here, we use a subject, would like, and then a noun complement. Okay, we need those three elements. A subject, would like, 
and a noun complement. Like in the example there, she would like a glass of water. She, the subject, would like, and then the noun complement, a glass of water. Why a noun complement? Si se recuerdan, a noun es nada más una frase con eh, palabras diferentes. No lleva verbo o tal vez lleva un verbo, pero el verbo lo lleva hasta el final, al final, al final. Pero en este caso, a noun complement, por lo general, no lleva un verbo, sino que solo son nouns. The other form is subject, would like to, and then a verb complement. Like in the example, he would like to drink orange juice. Subject he would like to, and then the verb complement, drink orange juice. As you can see, in the first example, it says a glass of water. In the second example, it says drink orange juice. So now the verb there is drink, okay? Can I say he would like to a glass of water? No. 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 Exactly, I can't. If I'm going to say would like to, I need a verb, okay? Can I say she would like drink orange juice? No. No, no. I cannot say would like and a verb, okay? I cannot have would like and a verb. Uh, there's a rule that says that, okay, uh, like is a verb. And then I cannot have another verb. It has to be different. It has to be something in between. And teacher, how about if you use it with the ing? Oh, okay. In the ing form, it's uh, a bit different. Um, for example, um, Mm, can you say like, or can I say like, I would like a drink in orange juice? Uh, no, in that case, no, you cannot say, you cannot use it that way. It would have to, you, you would have to use to and then the verb. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes, in this case, we cannot use it in the ing form. You cannot use it in the past tense. Okay. It has to be. Uh, the verb in the base form. Okay. Um, hay, hay otra regla también de que cuando eh, eh, hay una frase y tenemos dos verbos, pues los dos verbos no pueden ir eh, juntos. Por ejemplo, aquí de decir like y drink no podrían ir juntos porque uno tiene que ser diferente al otro. Entonces tenemos el verbo like Y por eso tenemos eh, este, la palabra to, porque podemos decir to drink. Entonces ya los verbos son diferentes. Entonces no podríamos tener dos verbos que estén en, el, en, en la misma forma. Eh, en el caso de, de, de would, eh, usar el verbo en el base form, sino que un verbo tiene que cambiar. Y es el verbo secundario. En este caso es to drink orange juice. Por eso tenemos eh, la palabra to después de like, para poder, eh, este, para, para poder usar este, esta estructura correctamente. Entonces, por eso es importante que tenemos que usar el to eh, entre los dos verbos. Pero no podemos tener los dos verbos, eh, uno a la par del otro. Would uh, like drink? No. Would like to drink. Ok. Uh, questions? Not from my end. Okay. All right. So we say that we use would like to and would like to express something in a polite way. Okay. Now let's look at the next part. If we have no questions, let's look at the next one. Okay. The next one, we use would like to and would like 
for two different ways. We can say to offer something, like in the example there, uh, would you like a cup of coffee? And also to invite somebody to do something, like would you like to go to the cinema? Okay. Would you like to go to the cinema? And let's have a look at the uh, structure. In the structure there, we, we uh, if you see, uh, we need to have something uh, different, okay? Because it's a question. And if it's a question, we cannot put together would like. Instead, we have to divide them because we need to use this, the subject in between them, okay? For example, there uh, it says would, the subject, like, and then a noun complement. And of course, the question mark. Like in the example there, would you like a glass of water? If you notice, it says, would you like? We don't say would like you. No, would you like? The same thing when you want to offer, or when you want to invite somebody to do something. Would the subject like to, and then the verb complement, and finally, a uh, question mark. And the question says, would you like to drink orange juice? Okay, the first one is when you offer something. Would you like a glass of water? The second one is to invite somebody to do something. Would you like to drink orange juice? What is the activity that they're going to do? To drink orange juice. Do you see the difference? Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes, teacher. Are there any questions? No, teacher. Well, from me, no. no okay. Teacher. All right. So we have uh, one form is to express something in a polite way. If it's going to be in a uh, sentence form. And if it's a question, then it's when you offer something or you invite somebody to do something. Okay. All right, let's, uh, let's have a look here at um, different ways that we can use it, like uh, in the sentence or in a, um, in a question form. We say would like plus a noun or a noun complement, would like to plus a verb complement. Notice here that it says, I would like a cup of tea, or I would like to drink tea can i say would like to a cup of cu a cup of tea no 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 teacher uh, no, we can can't. i say teacher i would like to drink a cup of tea you can say it like that too i would like to drink a cup of tea uh-huh okay yes you can say it like that because you have the verb drink what follows drink could be simply drink tea, drink a cup of tea, drink a glass of water, okay? But first you have to uh, use the verb. What follows the verb, that would be optional. That would be depending on what the verb is. Okay, okay. thank you. Okay. Um, all right, so I would like a volunteer to read um, these first four. Let's see. Read these first four um, using would like. A volunteer to read those four? Me too, sure. Go ahead. 
I would like a cup of tea. You would like a cup of tea. She would like a cup of tea. He would like a cup of tea. Good job, good job. Thank you. Okay, another volunteer to read the next three. And using would like. Okay, Mari? Okay, it would like a cup of tea. We would like a cup of tea. They would like a cup of tea. Okay, very good. Now, um, the negative form. In the negative form, uh, the negative word would have to be between would and like, would not like, wouldn't like, okay? All right, uh, Luis, go ahead and read the next four, these four in the negative form. All right, so it should be, I wouldn't like a cup of tea. You wouldn't like a cup of tea. He wouldn't like a cup of tea. She wouldn't like a cup of tea. Good job, good job. Okay, and another volunteer to read the next three using wouldn't like. Avening? It wouldn't like a cup of tea. We wouldn't like a cup of tea. It, they wouldn't like a cup of tea. Yes, good, good, good work. Okay, uh, now, Another volunteer to read these next four, but would like to. Okay, Clarissa. I would like to drink a tea. You would like drink to drink tea. He would like to drink a tea. She would like to drink a tea. Okay, all right. And another, okay, another volunteer for the next three using it and would like to. Okay, Fivey. He would like to do me tea. We would like to do me tea. They would like to drink tea. Good, good work, good work. Okay, another volunteer to help us read uh, these next four, also in the negative form, wouldn't like to. Okay, Fatima. I wouldn't like to drink tea. You wouldn't like to drink tea. He wouldn't like to drink tea. And she wouldn't like to drink tea. Good work. Good work. And then uh, the next three. Who would like to read the next three? Okay, Abby. It wouldn't like to drink tea. We wouldn't like to drink tea. They wouldn't like to drink tea. Excellent, excellent. Good work, good work. Okay, now remember, if I am going to say either would like to or wouldn't like to, it is followed by a verb, okay? It is followed by a verb. And if it's going to be would like, it's going to be followed by a noun complement, okay? Or wouldn't like and a noun complement. <clears throat> okay, now with the questions, you also have to be able to respond to the question. If I have, if I say, um, would you like a cup of tea? Then my answer can be yes, 
I would. Okay. Or no, I wouldn't. Okay. Yes, I would. Or no, I wouldn't. Okay. And the same would be the answer for um, the other question. Would you like to drink tea? I can say, yes, I would, or no, I wouldn't. Okay, because they are short answers. So the question could be, would you like a cup of tea or would you like to drink tea? And the answer is going to be the same. Yes, I would, or no, I wouldn't. Questions? I have a question, teacher. Go ahead. Uh, when we use wouldn't in a question, can I say like, you wouldn't like to drink a cup of coffee, right? Can I say that? Um, you can use it like that, yes. You can use it like that, uh, but that would be called a, a tag question. And tag questions usually have either two purposes, either to um, because something that you don't know or to reaffirm something. Um, now, if you say it that way, it is valid. Yes, it is valid. But normally with this type, we normally would ask the question, would you like or um, and then you can respond by saying, yes, I would or no, I wouldn't. Yes, because you're like making the other person to give it the answer that you want, right? Yes, yes. For example, okay. let's say that let's say that uh, I'm a little bit lazy, but because <laughs> I'm nice, I'm going to ask you. Uh, you wouldn't like a cup of tea, right? And if I want you to say no, then okay, I don't have to make it. <laughs> you know. All right. <laughs> but it's it's the way that you ask the question, you know, it's the way that your intonation, how how your intonation is like, then it, that's how you would use um, a tag question. It's because, it's better to use like, would you like? Yes, yes, because the question, uh, would you like, is neutral, you know, uh, inside you can be like, oh, I don't want to make tea. You know, I don't want to make tea, <laughs> but I'm going to be polite and I'm going to ask, you know, would you like to drink tea? You know, and that would be, you know, uh, that would be in a, uh, um, a very polite way to say it. Okay. Okay. Gotcha. Yes. Thank you, teacher. All right. Okay. Any questions? Any other question? No questions. Okay. All right. So we're going to go ahead and move on. Okay. Um, take a look at these exercises here. Analyze them. And then we're going to go ahead and, and discuss them. Okay. I'm going to give you just a one or two minutes to look at it, to analyze it. And, uh, and then we're going to discuss it together. All right, so now uh, the first one says, I'm thirsty. I would like a glass of water, please. Okay, notice that we're using would like because if you, if you notice, the complement here is a noun. Okay, it's, we don't have a verb, so we have to say would like. 
What about the next one? Would you like a break? Would you like? Yes, yes. Would you like a break? Why like and not like to? Porque no podríamos decir uh, like to here. Because the next words, where the next word is not a verb. It's that is correct. Uh -huh, exactly. The next word is not a verb. Okay. And that's the reason why. Okay. And that's the question there. And what would be the answer? Yes, we would like. We yes, say, I would like. Or we this, would like. Okay. In this case, we can just simply say, yes, we would. We would. Okay. Uh -huh. yes. a, a, a very short form is to say, would. We don't really, okay. we don't have to say would like. Yes, I would like. Or no, I would like to. You can just simply say, yes, I would. Yes, we would. Uh-huh. Yes, we would. Or no, we wouldn't. Okay. Oh. So, but it's not necessary to say like at, after would. Okay. 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 All right. Then, uh, Fabi, you had a question because I see your hand up or, or you wanted to participate. I will read the title of the one. I don't want to start this. I would like some help with my work, with my homework. Yes, that's good. That's good. Would like. Okay. If you notice, the next word is some. It's not. A verb, okay? All right. What about the next one? What about a number four? Yes, Clarissa? Oh, I'm sorry. I saw the hand up and that's why I say uh -huh. Clarissa, but uh, I'm not sure if, uh, I think, Sara, was that you? Yes. Ah, oh, okay, okay. So go ahead, Sara, you can go ahead and do this one. And the next one, uh, Clarissa can do number five. Okay, sorry, Clarissa. Uh, Patrick would like to go to the supermarket. He needs milk. Yes, yes. And why do we say like to? Because the next part is the verb. Correct, correct. Uh huh. And uh, the the word here is supermarket. Supermarket. Okay. Uh huh. Market. Yeah. Normally, we uh, you know, they're they're um, in in Spanish we can say supermercado, you know, and it's not supermarket. It's supermarket. The intonation is in the you. In the intonation, yes, it's in the in the first part. Yes, supermarket. Okay. Uh huh. That is correct. Uh, normally, it's in this word, supermarket. Mm. Supermarket. Okay. Mm hmm. And also, we do that with uh, the action hero, the comics action hero, Superman. Okay. In Spanish, of course, we say, ah, Superman. Superman. But in English, we say Superman. Okay. Is so, it like Batman? Yes. In Spanish, we say Batman. <laughs> uh huh. Uh huh. Batman. Normally, the, the stress is in the first syllable or in the first part of the word. Okay. All right. Uh, Clarissa, go ahead and do the next one. Is Clarissa there? No? Or somebody else who would like to participate? Me, teacher. Go ahead. Would Tom like to come with us? Yes, he would. 
Good, that's good. Yes. Uh, like to come with us. Okay. Like to come with us. Okay. Uh, number six, who can help us with number six? Can I help you? Yes, I will attack a ticket to Melbourne. Okay. So I would like a ticket. I right? would like a ticket to Melbourne. Yes, Sorry. yes. We, we don't say two because it says a ticket. Okay. All right. Number seven. My friends would like to come to the party next week. Good. That's good. Yes, would like to. Okay. Number eight. Would you like to work on Saturday? Mm -hmm. And the answer? No, I wouldn't. Yes, yes. I don't think anybody would like to work on Saturdays. <laughs> but we have to. <laughs> yes, in some jobs you have to work on Saturdays. Yes, that's true. Yeah. Okay, uh, the next one. Okay, Avening. Would you like chocolate ice cream or vanilla, vanilla ice cream? Good, that's very good. Yes, vanilla. Vanilla. Uh -huh. Sorry. Yes, vanilla. Okay, the next one. Yes, Julissa. Teacher, is chocolate or, ch or chocolate? Ah, okay. This is a very tricky word. Uh, because in some cases, you can say chocolate. In other cases, you can say chocolate. It's a combination of, 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 of words, of sounds. Chocolate. 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 Uh-huh. Chocolate. Chocolate. Uh-huh. Chocolate. And in some cases, people like to say chocolate, chocolate. Okay, mm -hmm. and number 10. Yes. Would you like to, would you like to see a movie? No, I wouldn't. Yes, that's good. That's very good. Okay. Uh, the next one, number 11. Yes, I think I see Fabi's hand. What would you like to do tomorrow? Yes, yes. What would you like to do tomorrow? Uh huh. Okay, and then the last one. Who would you like some candy? Uh, repeat. Who would you like some mm -hmm. candy? Okay, okay. Now, this is another tricky question. Mm -hmm. Because be it should be like, would you like some candies? Yes. And the reason why it's a bit tricky, it's because of the WH word, who. Who. We don't know who. That's why we're saying who. Okay. And in this case, it would be who would like some candy. Uh, who, who would uh -huh. like. Okay. Yes, because. Good to know. Yes, yes, because in this case, we don't know the subject. We don't know if it's you, he, she, they, or we. We don't know. And that's why we don't use a subject in this question. We'd simply say, who would like some candy? And the answer would be, we would like. We would like. Does that make sense? Yes, it's true. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Uh, any questions? Teacher, and now that you are Not saying good. about who, can we say like, uh, who would you like to go with? Okay. In that case, yes, because now we're using a, um, we're using the word with. In that case, yes, because... Okay. 
for example, if um, if I'm in a group of uh, with a group of people, but I don't have a specific subject, I can say, "Who would like candy?" And somebody can say, "I would like candy." But if, for example, I am talking directly with another person, and they say, um, "I want to go to the movies," okay, who would you? like to go to the movies with because now I'm talking directly to a specific person okay. so now I can say who would you like to go with okay mm -hmm. thank you teacher okay Got it. great great any other question no okay no teacher all right, now let's try on to the next exercise. Now, let's change these uh, exercises numbers one to 10 and let's change them to using would like and would like to. Look at the first one, it says, I want to go out tonight. I can say, I would like to go out tonight. Uh huh. So we went from using want to using, uh, I'm sorry, using want to, and now we use would like to. What about the second question? It says, do you want to come with us? What would be the, uh, the form here? Would you, would you like, like to come with, with, us, come with us? Okay, let's see. Okay, would you like to come with us? Okay. Okay, now uh, would it, uh, what would be the next one? Do you want a sandwich? Would you like a sandwich? Would you like a sandwich? Yes, good, good. Okay, what about the next one? I want a bottle of water, please. I would like a bottle of water, please. I would like, yes, yes, that's good, that's good. Where do you want to go? Where would you like to go? Uh-huh. Where would you like to go? Very good. Yes. I want to learn French. I would like I will to learn French. French. Yes, that's correct. Okay. Uh, then the next one. What do you want for dessert? What do you think? What would you like for dessert? Correct. What would you like for dessert? Uh huh. I want to stay with you today. I would you like to stay with you today? Okay, I would like to. Okay, yes. Uh, do you want to meet my family? Would you like to want to meet my family? Mm, okay, are, are we going to use want or are we going to substitute want for would like? ¿Vamos a seguir usando want o vamos a cambiar want por would like? Change want mm -hmm. for would. Okay, so what would be the question? Would you like to meet my family? Yes, would you like to 
meet my family. You see, we're not using want, okay? Because what we're doing is we're changing want for would like. I want an answer. I would like an answer. Yes, that is correct. That is correct. Very good. Very good. Okay. Do you have any questions? Any questions? No? No, teacher. No, teacher. Okay. All right. Now, <clears throat> we're going to go ahead and uh, do a bit more practice. But in this case, I'm going to send you to breakout rooms for a little bit. So you can ask each other these questions. Now, uh, because of the time, uh, I'm just going to go ahead and give you the, the, the questions. The first one says, do you want to become a dentist? But when we change it, it says, would you like to become a dentist? So what I'd like you to do is to take a snapshot or a, a screenshot of this area here. Okay, uh, because uh, these are the questions. And I want you to ask each other these questions. Uh, you can say, would you like to become a dentist? And then uh, the uh, uh, partner can say, yes, I would, or no, I wouldn't. And give a reason why. It could be a short answer. Would you like to become a dentist? No, I wouldn't. Because I am not patient to fix somebody's teeth. I'm not patient. Okay. Uh, would you like to learn Japanese? Yes, I would, because I want to watch Kung Fu movies. And they are in Japanese. No, that's Chinese, right? Yeah, Kung Fu is, is, is Chinese. Okay, so I can watch anime. That could be a reason. Um, or you can say, no, I wouldn't, because it's too complicated. Okay, so do you understand what you have to do? Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes, teacher. Great. So I'm going to send you to the breakout rooms and I'm going to give you five minutes to ask as many. No es necesario okay. eh, todas, sino que las que puedan en esos cinco minutos. Okay, teacher. Okay, now let me see how many are we right now. We're 12, okay. So that means... Okay. Okay, so uh, the rooms are open now, five minutes.
Yes, I will watch a comedy because it's funny for me. <laughs> okay. Would you like to become a dentist, Abby? Mm. Yes, I would. Um. Or another so, career, I don't know. Um, no. Se me olvidó que significa become. <laughs> eh, convertirse, ser. Oh, perdón. I would... <laughs> I wouldn't because um, it's expense, expensive the, the expensive career. Yes. <laughs> but would you like? And it says, oh. okay. would you like to meet the president? Uh, the one from our country, no. But maybe a president from a different country, yes, I would like to meet him. How about you? Would you like to meet this president from our country? Mm, in person. I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Um, mm, no, no sé de qué podríamos hablar. <laughs> okay, I see that Sarah is here. Sarah? Yes, yes. Would you like to meet the president? It's interesting. And I think uh, it's complicated, but interesting. Okay. Um, would you like to drink a cup of coffee? Yes, I will because I love coffee. It's my favorite drink. Me too. <laughs> I start my day with a coffee. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. Um, would you like to have a better job? Yes, I will. Welcome back. Teacher, yo pensé que me había sacado del de, de meeting. <ríe> no, por eh, cuando eh, de aquí se puede manejar y se puede cerrar los break uh -huh. rooms, pero les da hey. como 60 segundos para que se salgan. Si no, hey, automáticamente sure. se lo trae de nuevo a la sesión. And I asked you for permission to go to the restroom. And when I was back, I was in the break room already. <laughs> oh, okay. But but I did reply. I did reply. I don't know if you if you saw it. <laughs> yes, I saw it. Okay. So let's see. We're gonna wait. Uh, I think everybody should be back. Welcome back, everybody. Okay, now, uh, how, were, how were the answers? How were the questions? Were they difficult? Were they interesting answers? Mm. No one wants to meet Nayib Bukele. That's what I heard in my break room. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, of course, you know, that, that's going to depend on, on, on every person, but... Uh, if you don't want to meet the president from our country, maybe you can meet other presidents from other countries and, and, and exchange information about the culture. That could be another option. Mm -hmm. That's right. All right. Okay. 
So uh, we're uh, basically out of time. And uh, I'm going to share this uh, PowerPoint presentation with you um, also uh, with the video. And um, I would like for you to go ahead and work on the exercises on the platform, watch the videos, and also do the exercises um, that you see there on the platform, um, and uh, try to advance as much as you can, OK? Um, on Monday, when we have our next session, it will be we will have our next speaking uh, activity, okay? So uh, for this, uh, as I said, I'm going to share this uh, um, PowerPoint presentation with you guys. Uh, there are some more exercises here that if you would like to try them, uh, but also try the ones there on the platform. And if we have no more questions, then um, have a good night and I'll see you next week. Teacher. Yes. Uh, when I was working in the platform, I noticed that well, my computer it doesn't recognize the, um, the I don't know the el apostrophe the apostrophe. Uh huh. So what I gotta do it was to copy and paste a word oh, because okay. when I was putting it in my keyboard, so then it was giving me like in the wrong end. It was wrong. Mm -hmm. But then I gotta copy and paste uh, the word. Okay. Yeah, that, that could be another option too. In, in case like if you're doing it on the computer, maybe the keyboard doesn't have the option to change the language. Uh, sometimes Windows gives you the option to use a different language uh, and adapt it to your keyboard. But if not, then, you know, on Word, you can uh, select a symbol and then paste it there and then just simply copy and paste it anytime you have to use it. Uh, also, you can use your cell phone. It is a good idea. And I was working in this one and mm -hmm. I don't have any problem with that. Mm -hmm. Yes, that can that can also work too. Um, if you have if you use your cell phone or if you're using a keyboard, um, you know, the you have other options, you know, if, if, if it's not available on the keyboard. OK, uh, any other question? Teacher, teacher, entonces lo va a tener que hacer eh, este, eh, en, fuera de clase. Eh, eh, lo, que, lo que se tiene planeado es tener como un mini repaso, eh, digamos los primeros 5 o 10 minutos, eh, por si tienen alguna duda o por, por si hay que aclarar algo, y, lo de, y el tiempo restante va a ser para que ustedes hagan la, la prueba. Tengo entendido que se tiene que hacer el día de, eh, de la clase, eh, no. Si no, entonces creo que lo va a tener que hacer o antes o, o lo va a tener que hacer eh, en el transcurso del día jueves. Eh, porque creo que sí, si, no, no estoy seguro si hay, si hay como una, un límite de día. Digamos, si lo, lo puede hacer el viernes, no estoy tan seguro, pero podemos preguntar en el, en el grupo, en el chat group, para ver si se puede hacer en el transcurso del día o fuera de clase para que también no vayan a perder esa, esa oportunidad de hacer el examen. El, sí, el examen es un poquito largo, se tarda un poquito más a comparación de los otros, pero eh, por eso lo podríamos hacer dentro de clase. Y si no puede, entonces puede hacer la pregunta en el, en el chat eh, para ver qué nos puede decir también uh, Gabriela, que es la que se encarga de, de, de los grupos. Eh, how many attempts do we have? Creo que solamente es, es una vez porque de allí creo que no le da la opción, a menos de que eh, se sacó una nota baja, eh, pueda que sí, eh, tenga la oportunidad, y si no, pues entonces solamente es un attempt. Este, mmm, yo no me puedo conectar a la clase de ayer. Uh -huh. ¿Qué día se acordó para hacer el examen? Eh, si vamos así, eh, con, así con, la, con el orden de las clases y el speaking y todo eso, estaríamos haciéndolo en dos semanas. ¿Dentro de dos semanas? Ajá, de este jueves que viene, no, sino que al siguiente jueves tendría que ser. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. okay.
de acuerdo. Gracias. Ok. Sí, eh, si está, sería como el 14 de, de, 14 de julio. Ok, eh, si no hay más preguntas. Llega hasta, hasta que presentaje debe estar hecho hasta el lunes ahí en la plataforma. Eh, creo que si no estoy, si no me equivoco, son como el 50%. Y si no, pues eh, van a mandar el mensaje en el transcurso de mañana, eh, avisándoles hasta dónde tendrían que tener eh, ya eh, hecho. Porque si vamos así como la, la semana pasada, Podría ser 25 la semana pasada, 50% hoy o esta semana, 75% la siguiente semana y la última semana ya eh, hasta el 100%. So, teacher, that means that uh, we got to finish with the courses that we have in the platform in the week number four. Ajá. Uh -huh. Okay. Yes. Got it. Ok. Uh, bueno, si tienen alguna otra pregunta, la pueden hacer en el chat porque eh, ya me tengo que pasar a la siguiente clase. Eh, y este, y pueden hacer la pregunta en el chat y nos vemos la siguiente semana, el lunes, con speaking. No se me vayan a correr. Thank you, teacher. <laughs> Thank you, teacher. Good night. Right. Thank you, teacher. Good night. Good night. Bye. Bye bye. Bye. Here are you on Monday. See you on Monday.